Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my February favorites. I didn't do a January favorites. I know I didn't. I'm behind on that bandwagon but not much changed in January for me at least. But I felt like February changed pretty much everything. So I have a, lo a whole pile of little favorites here. So let's just get started. Cooler by Benefit. I have owned this for ages now and I never really got into it. But February I, I literally used the death out of this thing. I have a little dent in it now. I hope to hit pan soon. And yeah, I just really, really like it. The color really, really is nice. If you are pale like me, I am really, really pale. I don't know why I show so dark on camera. But if you are really, really pale, then get some on your brush, tap off the excess, tap it onto your hand, then apply it to your face. I find that to be the most natural looking. But yeah, I really have been enjoying this powder powder this month. Okay, so my next favorite is the Maybelline Color Tattoo, in particular the shade Inked in Pink. I do believe this is probably my favorite shade out of them all. I own one other one, Barely Branded, but I definitely like this one a lot better, at least on my skin tone. I've just really, really been enjoying it. Strobe Cream. Where have I been on this bandwagon? Like, I remember people raving about it like years ago, and I was just like, it must not be that good. It really is great. I really like now, it. If you watched my last haul, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. Um, I picked up the Cover Effect Cream Conceal in the shade NX Light, I think it is, or just X Light. Anyway, this stuff is great. I'm using it today with a combination of something else. Um, yeah, I love using this, even on its own, I love it so, so much. It actually covers my dark circles. Um, yeah, I can't fault this product. I love it. MAC Pro Powder in the shade Emphasize. I love this. This is great. If you, if you have a chance to touch this and use this, Definitely give it a go. I do believe you can only get this in pro stores and online. Red cherry eyelashes in the shade. The shade. The shade. Red cherry eyelashes in the shade. Shade. Style number 43. Um, yeah, I'm wearing them on my eyeballs today. Um, yeah. <laughs> and they just look like this. I really, really like Let's them. move on to lip products. Um, so for every day, I've been really, really enjoying the Maybelline Color Whispers. In particular, the shades Mad for Magenta. And the shade Pink Possibilities. So this one here is Mad for Magenta. And this one here is Pink Possibilities. And I've just been liking them just as a sheer wash of colour on the lips. I think it's really, really flattering and really, really nice. So okay. if you didn't know, it was Chinese New Year's in February. So I used the hell out of these two lip products. They're both red, very festive. Even in conjunction with Valentine's Day, I've just been using these so much. So I may as well tell you what they are, shouldn't I? This is the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Red Velvet. It's this one here, the darker one, and it does dry matte, so if you do prefer that, then I would recommend this for you. I think I'm going to do a review on these. Let me know if you want to see that. And then the Carousel Glosses. Um, this one's in the shade Cherry on Top. This is one that I've been using the most in particular, and that is this one here. That's only one, this one here. And that's only one swipe. Like, it's so pigmented and just so nice on the lips. I really, really do enjoy it. Um, and a review is coming up on the, um, I just need to gather a lot my last few impressions and then I'm going to film it. Okay, second to last, I have a nail polish favourite. This is the Australis in the shade Sweet Pea and it's what I have on my nails today. I really, really enjoy it. Like, I'll I'll go to other things and I'll paint my nails other things, but I always go back to this, or at least I have for the month of February and I really, really enjoy it. So if you have access to Australis, definitely check it out. I think I bought mine for like four bucks and yeah, they're against animal testing, which is great. Last beauty favourite is a hairspray. And normally I'm not fussed with my hairsprays, but this one's actually really, really impressed me. This is the Garnier Fruities Style Volume Shampoo Flex Hold Volume Spray with Ultra Strong Hold. It's anti-humidity 24 hours. I just like this because it, like, for example, I'll spray it in my hair when I like, curl my hair and so forth. My hair will stay curly for days. I just think it does work. I think it does hold for a very, very long time doesn't make my hair super crunchy and I just really, really enjoy it. So if you have access to Garnier or you want a new hairspray, definitely give this one a try. So yeah, I think that's all my favourites. If you want me to do like random favourites like food and so forth, let me know and I will do that. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.